First time in a while you see me with one of these bad boys. Hey guys, I got my ass done, can you tell? It's so small and stupid. <laughs> People would be like, go back to the surgeon. <laughs> well, this is awkward. As fuck. So as you know, me and Anya have been uh, fighting a lot recently. We don't talk anymore. It's not my fault. I don't fuck with her anymore. It's not my fault. Oh, is this the video where we talk about the kids? Yeah, should we talk about- Yeah. <laughs> I guess spoiler, but me and Inya adopted some children, um, got married in the process, uh, all for tax purposes, but- And I'm ashamed of it. But she is a conniving bitch. Okay. And- Sucks as a I'm, I want to make it clear. I'm only doing this because our couples therapist I'm only doing this because our couples therapist said it would be a good idea um, Even though I'm leaving you regardless, so But I'm leaving you. Nope. I filed for divorce first. We're just gonna paint some pictures answer some of your guys's questions off of my Instagram and Just talk about our shitty fucking life Terrible 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 life. My life is awesome. You and I'm ruined my life Video sponsored by Raycon. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Raycon has been an incredible support throughout all of the gnarly stuff I've been through these past few months. Even though there's contracts and deadlines involved, they really gave me a lot of leeway to take my time and go at my own pace. And I really admire Raycon and thank them from the bottom of my heart for um, just letting me heal on my own time and just like being just a genuine company and helping me out through this whole process. But with that said, I have been using the Raycon earbuds a lot. I recently flew back to Texas for my sister's wedding and they were incredible on the flight. On my flight I used the Everyday E25 earbuds and the sound quality was unmatchable. It's an, it's actually incredible how much power you can pack into these earbuds while keeping them small and comfortable and at an affordable price. On the airplane the battery lasted not only the entire time but all the way through the car ride home. If you go to buyraycon.com slash Drew Phillips or click the link in the very top of the description, you'll get 15% off your purchase of everyday E25 Raycon earbuds. Another great feature Raycon has is their 45 day free return policy. So you can make sure they're the right earbuds for you. Again, thank you so much Raycon for sponsoring this video. Y'all are incredible. Go to buyraycon.com slash Drew Phillips for 15% off your purchase. We adopted children together. Horrible, horrible, horrible decision. We immediately regretted it. Like marriage changes everything. We were on good terms before, but like, I'm just laughing because, like, you're, you're senile. You're making my chest hurt, and I have to get my chest medication. Oh wow, this is really convenient. Someone said, "Is radio dead?" Like the podcast? Yeah, like, like the our, podcast. Our podcast? The podcast that's coming out soon that we're creating right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys should like look into that. Like radio is literally dead. Like dead as fuck. Like, She's coming. Is it good to start with like a white background, like with white paint on the background, or? Uh, these are already pre gessoed which is white. What paint. the fuck are you saying to me? Speak English. It's art. Yeah. It's artist lingo. So you. Shut up. So you have during to quarantine, I've gotten really into painting. I've discovered. Being really new, into something doesn't make you good at it. Newsflash. I've discovered a new bone in my body that. Uh, is really long, <laughs> but no, I've actually gotten into like painting and shit recently and I actually Love it so much. It's so cathartic and I think everybody should try it. Painting is actually my least favorite um, Medium medium like I would rather work with anything else. I, I used to be like that Like I, I hate like I used to hate like acrylic. Well, I still fucking despise oil I don't know how you bitches do it, but my medium of choice was watercolor, strangely enough, but I despise like oil and acrylic. Like it was both like off the table, not an option. So I know what I'm gonna draw. 
I'm uh, sorry, Mom. Don't talk about Mom. She hates you. Mom. I don't care. She knows everything you've done. I love her. Okay. Um, dude, your questions are awesome. I know, they literally, all the fucking questions are, are lice, bed bugs, and exclusively that. What's your password? I'm not telling you my password, bitch. <laughs> it's stupid. You know my passcode. I always forget it. It's, it's you literally, know? it's 420 oh, and six then 999. Nine. Oh, I thought it was 69. I wish it was 69. Bruja. Don't fucking call me that. Brujaria. Don't fucking call me that. Which? Someone said, can you and any do the WAP dance? That's a question I picked. <laughs> we have a draft of me and Drew trying to do the WAP dance. It's humiliating. Um, it's embarrassing. I... Actually, I could kill it, but... And you could throw it. And you just thing things. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're trying to say to me. Oh, someone was like, what are y'all's favorite albums and the favorite songs off those albums? Mm. Uh, okay, okay. My favorite album at the moment is Mad Villainy by Mad Villain. And my favorite song, I just, I think that's like a, like a front to back album that you can just listen like all the way through, no skips, it's awesome. That's my favorite album. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know that I have a favorite album right now. Yeah. Actually, I fully take that back. So I think my favorite artist during quarantine has been Janet Jackson. Yep. But my favorite album that came out during quarantine, there's not really an album that I'm listening to. I'm more so just like picking random songs that I've been throwing into playlists. Yeah. Um, so I'm just like picking the Fiona Apple album because that's like the only album I can think of that like came out recently. It's that a I serve. Like, I love this album. It is a serve. Ah. I'm not in the mirror. I'm inside you. Let me guide you. Fuck you, bitch. That's not a Put the gun down. Bye bye. Um. Have you heard the child screaming lately, praying for you guys? Oh. Um. If you don't know, Indy and I spoke on it on like. Was it live stream? Yeah, it was Twitch. Yeah, we like spoke on it on live stream and I don't want to touch too much on it now because we're saving that for the podcast. But basically, uh, one night we just heard this child screaming really fucking loud, like bloody murder. Um, and we went to investigate and saw some really, really sketchy women like out front of this like empty house. And when we pulled up, they were like, is this your house? And they were like behind the gate. Yeah, and shit. they were at the house. And we were like, no, like what? Oh, so we asked if they heard a kid screaming and they were like, no. They were very, very suspect. Yeah. And then we went home and we thought someone was chasing us. Yeah, uh, we don't know. We haven't heard anything. But it was le legitimately like one of the most terrifying moments. And that's how I know this house is fucking cursed. For an intruder who attacked me, he chased me. The screaming out front of the house and then literally uh, someone like snuck under the house and turned off the water on our side of the house and uh, set a little fire underneath it and our landlord did absolutely nothing about it. Um, I was like, we need to like, th this is like attempted arson. We need to call the police and she was like, no. And then I called the police and they were like, oh, since it's like not a building you own or like. It's not in your name. Yeah, it's not in your name. We have to like speak to the landlord and that's why further pushing to defund the police because isn't that when you're supposedly supposed to call them? When someone tries to burn down your fucking house, like what? And they're like, oh no. What show are you currently watching? I just started, I'm kidding. Or is it Just Kidding with Jim Carrey? Yeah. I don't know. I don't fuck with that shit. Shut <laughs> up. But yeah, I just started that and I'm literally, I only got one episode in. Another fun fact about me, it is very hard for me to watch something. It like takes an intense, uh, not only attention, but like... Brain it, power because you have a puny little brain. Literally, like it takes so much and It's not. It's attention. literally not even that, it's like you have actual problems. No, yeah, I have like an actual <laughs> attention disorder. Also, I realized that I wasn't painting anything, I was literally just sitting here talking. <laughs> um, so I have nothing done on my canvas. You might have seen that my style of art has changed. 
Um, and it's because literally I have to let go of how much of a perfectionist I am when it comes to like art. It like ruins Yeah, it dude, me. I literally, I was telling people like the style of art that I do where I just like literally push paint around on the canvas, like it may not look like intri or like super intricate, but like, I mean, it really isn't intricate at all, but it's so freeing to just like let go and just let it kind of paint itself and like yeah it's really it feels really good to just like fucking spread paint on a canvas relinquish control to it and just let it be what kind of paint is this uh fluid acrylics i've never used this kind and like i don't know if i'm doing this right you're doing it right you just have to layer it like, what is something you miss post quarantine i feel like we weren't people who like went out much anyways but actually that's a lie we like loitered a lot yeah we that's just like, literally went places to stand around and not be inside and now we were forced to stay inside I, I don't know i didn't i don't know i didn't i didn't really have many friends before quarantine okay it says no uh what i miss like post quarantine uh being able to fucking travel i know that's so like corny but like more than anything in the world right now or literally going to like the chateau and getting like shit ass drunk I, that's okay that's a big misconception about us people think we're like rampant drug users which understandable look at us and like, look yeah, how we interact on the internet we do give off that vibe but we really are so tame you'd be surprised which faves do what drugs <laughs> let's do an exposing video god we would ruin that also lives. sounds like i'm like bashing people for what they choose to do and I can't stress enough. I really don't give a fuck. Literally couldn't give two um, shit. I saw that a couple times on the question thing. It was like, do you smoke weed? Why or why not? And I've answered this question 36,000 times. You may think I'm a pothead and that I love me some Mary J, some <laughs> cannabis. Like, like that's the way you know you don't though because <laughs> like real stoners don't talk like that. No, I'm a fucking stoner. I smoke. No, you're a boner. Yeah. No, um, I don't. My back is sweaty. How am I switching colors? Huh? How am I switching colors? I'm getting some wawa. The way that that's how we talk to each other is really gross. Like actual babies. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing a lot of baby talk recently. Because we want comfort. Because <laughs> we want our children back. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. You don't want them back? I guess you guys will have to like follow us on like IG or something. Chug Jug, Slurp Juice, Fortnite. You piss me the fuck off. <laughs> like grow up. I wish we could play music on oh, video. Cool. Literally change everything. It would change up the vibe. It would change the game. The game would be changed. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Is that the, you were doing the smosh, right? Yeah. Lining. I'm messing up, but that's okay. I'm messing up. That's okay. It doesn't matter anyway. It's not an assignment. I don't have to be perfect. The school is what ruined my narrative on life is because it gave me like the perfectionist ideology. And that's why I gave up so early on. That's my, that's my favorite quarantine sound. Uh, yeah. See, the thing is, I want to draw two girls, and it's taken me this long. It's taken me this long to get this far. How am I going to draw two girls? Uh, favorite video we did together. The problem is, I don't know about you. Actually, we might be the same way. I don't rewatch our videos. Like once they're out, I try to banish them from my memory because, um, at a young age, I met people who were too cool. Um, and they made me feel embarrassed and ashamed for everything I do. I'm like <laughs> extremely proud of my work on the internet. And I'm not just saying that because I want you to like feel bad. But I, I No, watched... that makes me feel good. Like in my head, for some reason, I like have extreme embarrassment. And I think everyone hates me and thinks I'm annoying. But that's also because like every tweet about me in the world is about calling me annoying. So I try to limit myself from my own reality. Queen. Queen of limiting your reality. Queen of ignoring myself. Am I real? No. And that's what makes it so See, beautiful. that's been a real big problem for me recently, is actually questioning if I'm real or fake. 
in mm, I think sophomore year of high school. I think it might have been junior year. I actually was completely like diagnosed, like depersonalized. Really didn't know who I was. Like when I looked in the mirror, I did not see myself. I literally saw someone else. It like was so fucking scary. I was super existential. I thought I was an actual alien at one point. I was like, I'm the only person on this planet alive type shit. And I can feel myself slowly slipping back into that. And I can't handle that again. So I'm trying to like take a break from reality and just like focus on myself, but it's not working. Basically that was me saying that I'm not doing good right now, but I don't think that's a secret. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm pretty sure a lot of people could tell that I'm like off. And that's okay. Um, no one should expect themselves or others to always be on. But I'm like always turned on. I'm gonna make these. See, that's where you fuck up because I'm trying to be nice to you and you're being a freak. See, I'm sitting here acting like that. I see. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna. I am. I don't judge anybody anymore. That's my new path of life because when I started judging people is when I became a bitter person. And I don't want to do that shit anymore. But that is very judgeable content. I don't know why you're being mean. Like, she's literally like, like, she's just like, like, she, like, um. Girl, spit it out, what? <laughs> oh, we didn't even answer a favorite video we have together. We just oh. have so many. We're yeah. like in each other's like every video, but yeah. I will say, I think probably proposal video. Yeah, that was mine. In was Hawaii. Hawaii proposal video. That this shit shows. is iconic. Oh, God. Um, that's what I'm saying. I just want to be able to travel places. But once this quarantine shit is over, I'm gone. I'm gone and y'all will never hear from me again. I'm gone. One Not day, I'm going to oh. snap and you won't hear from me again. Literally. That TikTok audio is <laughs> so real for me. It is so raw. I relate to it so much. My favorite part about being on the internet as like two people who are open about our mental health is how often we get asked if we're okay. Yeah, are y'all okay? Like, no, no! Obviously not, like... You think I'm doing this to buy a Rolls Royce? No, I am doing this to pay for therapy. How did any of you uh, influence your music taste or life in general? I like that one. Uh, well... Long story short is I influenced her. Everything she knows is because of me. <laughs> Inya literally like opened my eyes up to music <laughs> because I've also said this before. I literally never used to listen to music. Like I was one of those freaks who like, like it's, legitimately- it's disgustingly scary. Like legitimately never listened to music and Inya had it playing 24 fucking seven um in our hotel rooms and shit and it drove me insane but then like she started putting me on to like different artists and shit and you like changed my music taste i was looking through my um old phone and i found a screenshot of a tweet from your like, side twitter like it's a picture of me knocked out in bed and it's from one of our first trips to la together it's from our first trip to la together i came home and i guess i knocked out in your bed in the airbnb with my speaker blaring and yep. it's just like a picture of me sleeping and you were like and you fell asleep with this loud ass fucking speaker it used to piss me off dude i sleep in silence like i sleep in silence and darkness sometimes i have to sleep with the light on because i'm so petrified but <laughs> That's neither here yourself. nor there. That's neither here nor there. Do you or Inya have a strange addiction? I know I do weird shit. Yeah, you're- I know I'm a fucking weirdo. I'm- I don't think I'll ever be ready to tell them that I eat my toe skin. <laughs> that is a lot to digest. I don't know. I'm a bit of a germaphobe. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, you wash your hands like 30, 36,000 yeah. times. I, like, wash my hands she has to and wash brush her hands my teeth an excessive amount of times. And when I wash my face before I go to sleep, I sometimes have to do it a lot because I'm, like, convinced I didn't wash it right and I'm convinced it's still dirty. She washes her hands after she eats. It's so weird. Dude, I have to know. I have to wash my hands multiple times after I eat because, like, I'm convinced my hands still have food lingering on them and that they smell like food. Wait, that habit is low-key a slave for like COVID world. Yeah, it literally is. Um, my weird habits. I've been flushing the toilet a lot recently. I don't know. Is that 
are you being like what you have to you can't just say that what does that mean <laughs> like what does that mean I, I don't know dude like i'll literally i don't know if you've ever noticed but you'll probably notice now but like i literally flush the toilet like two or three times i don't know why is it because you're trying to get rid of your boy stench fucking mm, boy no. pee stench no because i love the smell of my own piss Dude, I'm not kidding. Boy pee stench is real. Why do men's bathrooms smell 10 times fucking worse? Because they piss all over the toilet seat and the, the splash pack. It sprays all over the floor and they don't clean it. <laughs> that is gross. Girls are more hygienic. Oh, of course. Girls are more important. Oh, true. What the fuck? I said it. I said it. Like, that's what I like about you is that, like, you're, I'm not afraid to say it. Like, you know? that you know men are absolutely, like, useless. Men are trash. Wait. You think she heard that? I'm trying to think of my weird habits. I know I have them. I just literally am drawing a blank. I think the thing is, like, they're normal in your brain. So, yeah. And I, I can't think of anything because, like, to me, most of the things you do are very odd. You don't have weird habits. You're just a, a very odd person. Y'all think it's a character, but, like, it's real. It, so I haven't really spoken about this. I don't know if you should get into that. I just like this is such a raw and real video that I just think I have to. Um, but me, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it. Charlie D'Amelio is my third twin. She's my little sister. Um, about seven years ago, I was kicked out of the house the D'Amelio house and banished from them and they never spoke to me again and still haven't spoken to me to this day. Um, I like, and not that I'm questioning the validity in your story because you know I'm like here for you and I, I do believe you, um, but I'm just kind of confused how you're, the, Charlie's supposed to be your Third twin. Third twin, but she's younger than you? That just like... You don't know my age. I've been lying this whole time. If you're lying about that, how the fuck are we supposed to believe you about anything else? I was lying because I was sad. I didn't... Like... Whatever, no one cares. I say I shouldn't I have fucking brought... I shouldn't have brought this shit up. I shouldn't have brought it up. Yeah, you should have fucking kept it to just yourself. Just they fucking... I'm gonna scan my butthole and put it on a shirt. Ooh... something tonight. You're lying. I'm not. You're gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. She's gonna cry and you love SZA. It's borderline fucked up how much I love her. I just feel like SZA would give me a hug and I would never be the same. Um, yeah, I don't have anybody like that either. I feel like if I got to meet SZA, I would feel the same way about her as we feel about Devin. Mm. Like that's like same like energy wave I get. Like same vibe. This is really difficult and I don't like it. So I'm gonna blow it up and throw it away. Just finish it out, I swear. It'll it's good practice. Dude, uh, speaking of SZA, control is my favorite album in the world. In the freaking world. Drew isn't somebody who spends like crazy money unless it's something he really is passionate about, like rocks. <laughs> yeah, I've been collecting fucking rocks. Big whoop. Yeah, actually- And during um, a pandemic, like, okay. I've been collecting opal. I've been collecting minerals. I don't like when she calls them rocks. They're minerals. Um, and I'm really proud of my mineral collection. Maybe one day I'll talk about it. But that is probably, I'm opening up a lot to you guys, but that is something that I should keep private because no <laughs> one wants to see my rock collection. I'm a narcissist, baby. That's a song I've been working on. Ooh. This is cute. It is. I don't really like mine. I made the arms extra long. Yours is sick. What are you talking about? <laughs> Someone asked how long we're gonna live together. Forever. Not actually, but um, if neither of us are married, by like, <laughs> you said 30, right? Yeah. 
Um, if me, neither of us are married by 30, we're just going to marry each other and adopt babies. Because? Not the adopting babies part, no. We're adopting babies. I'm not adopting babies, girl. You're crazy. We're adopting a child. You really don't want children? Uh, I don't think I do. Let me move my paint. You know, let me move my bangs. Let me move my paint. Okay, you, like, you, sometimes you don't have to say the joke you think. Sometimes you don't have to be mean to me when you think. That's what I hear when you talk. It's like you're fucking eating. I'm putting too much pressure with this pasta and it's like... Oh sweating. no, it's, it's too, it's the canvas. Mm. Like I did it with my big paintings too. This person gets so I have to finish the eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. The, uh, in my, uh... My eyes are the window to my hole. I was... I swear to God, in yeah, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say, in my case, the eyes are the window to the hole. Swear on my entire being. Me and Drew have lived together for long enough at this point that we are literally just clones of each other. We're the exact same person now. It's terrifying. I recognize Inya more than I recognize myself. <laughs> I feel like you. I don't know who I am. Why would you ever kiss me? I'm not even half as pretty. I'm gonna play a song and you're gonna have to just mute it out. I'm so sorry. Nice and Frank Ocean. <laughs> Um, sorry for this 30 minute video, um, I just really couldn't cut anything else out from it. Um, I will say, uh, my dumbass forgot to click the record button when we showed off our paintings, but I did get a photo of it, so, um, here's the picture of our final paintings. Um, they look incredible, uh, at least I think so. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was more of a chill one. You guys rock if you sticked around this long. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, comment, Oh, lovely appearance of death in the, uh, the, the comment section. <laughs> Only expect a few of you to do that. My flesh be